Hi, my name is Josh French. Um, I'm in my first year of pre-theology, and I'm studying for the Archdiocese of St. Paul in Minneapolis. And I grew up in Woodbury, not too far from here. And tonight I just want to share a little bit about my story and just the goodness of God uh, working in my life. So yeah, I grew up in a Catholic family, um, go to Mass on Sunday, pray before meals, but that was about it for me. Um, even though I attended Catholic grade school and high school, I was not interested in my faith, and I really didn't like going to Mass at all. And I didn't know Jesus or really want anything to do with him. I was interested in sports and loved playing hockey. Um, I went to Hill Murray High School and got good grades, was a good athlete. And it was during my senior year um, at Hill Murray that I was offered a Division I scholarship uh, to play college hockey at Minnesota State Mankato. Uh, before I entered college, I played two years of junior hockey in Omaha, Nebraska. And this is like a developmental league um, to get you ready to play college hockey. And it was at this point in my life, um, graduating from high school and moving away from home, that I stopped attending Mass altogether. Um, and during the next two years, being away from home, playing hockey, I very much relate to the prodigal son from Luke's Gospel. I asked God the Father for my inheritance, and I took my things and moved far away from God. And I didn't want anything to do with him. And after two years in Omaha, I entered college at Mankato, and uh, I was very much living uh, the party and hockey and college lifestyle, um, just wanting to fit in and be liked by my teammates. Um, and I did fit in, and we had fun, but I uh, was always left feeling empty and searching for more. And this is when Jesus most noticeably entered into my life. Um, it came from an invitation to a focused Bible study. We had... Uh, there was one kid on the hockey team, the third string goalie, was in Bible study. And uh, Aaron Nelson and Ron invited me to the Bible study, and I said yes. And that Thursday night study quickly became my favorite night of the week, even amidst all the great fun and success that came with being one of the top teams in the country. We had a lot of success at Minnesota State and did very well, but I loved that Bible study. I loved studying scripture praying with Jesus in adoration, going back to Mass, and going back to confession. I, I hadn't been to confession in man, probably like seven plus years, um, and I had a really powerful experience my sophomore year of college, just encountering the person of Jesus and uh, receiving his great love and mercy and forgiveness. See, so yeah, I felt alive and was on fire for the Lord, and it was at the end of my sophomore year of college I went on a focused mission trip to Trinidad and Tobago, just really an amazing trip, just full of love and, and goodness from God. And it was on this trip that I felt the Lord asking me if I'd be a priest. <laughs> and this was pretty hard to believe. I mean, I just returned, you know, back to the church pretty recently. And uh, yeah, I thought I was going to be married as well. I'd been dating a gal for the better part of seven years at that point. Um, so I didn't really know what to think of this desire on my heart for the priesthood. Um, but yeah, the Lord continued to pursue and gently lead me. And after a couple years of wrestling with his question of the priesthood, and with God's providential timing, I applied to the St. Paul Seminary and then entered the propedeutic program last year. And I say providential because um, after college, I'd signed a professional contract to keep playing hockey. And then COVID hit and everything shut down. And then I had a back surgery, and that slowed things down as well. And those are stories for another time. Um, but yeah, last year in the Propedeutic House, it really was the best year of my life. Um, just so grateful for the ways God has and continues to work in my life. And in closing, just want to share a little insight from my six-year-old godson. And we've been writing letters back and forth this year. And I uh, got a letter from him a couple weeks ago, and he said, uh, we were talking about prayer, and he said, Jesus, Jesus wanted me to tell you that you have a great life. And it was so simple and so true and so beautiful. I really do have a great life. And uh, God has been so good and loving and generous with me. And I want to thank all of you um, who support the St. Paul Seminary with your time 
and money and prayers, and uh, you make this great life possible. Um, <clears throat> you help create a space where I get to encounter Jesus every day so that I can try and be more like him and bear fruit for his kingdom. So I'll praise and glory to God our Father and thank you for your generosity.